Hello everyone, thank you for being here. We were really excited to do some fall baking. So I found a couple of recipes that turned out so yummy. So I will link them in the description box and you can give them a try if you want. They were so good. So we did some pumpkin cookies and some apple crumble. So the first one we're working on is the pumpkin cookies. So we're doing three quarters of a cup of butter, a cup of light brown sugar and creaming those together. And then the rest of the wet ingredients are two egg yolks, two teaspoons of vanilla, and half a cup of canned pumpkin puree. So I'm realizing I did the eggs wrong. <laughs> I did two eggs, not two egg yolks. You know, that's what you get for not paying super close attention. But whatever, they turned out super yummy anyway, and it was no big deal. But maybe if you make them, you can do it properly, and maybe they'll be extra delicious. <laughs> So I had my two helpers, Desi and Liam. Desi gets to sit on the counter and help me when we're baking. He's really good about sitting up there still and safely and, you know, not moving around. So if you see me kind of step to the side of the counter or anything for a minute, be assured I have my eye on him constantly and he is perfectly safe. So please don't worry. Uh, and Liam was just playing on the floor so sweetly. And then he wanted to come up and see what we were doing too. So I love baking with my boys. It's always such a fun little activity and it's one of Desi's favorite things in the world. We could bake all day long and he would just be so happy. So yeah, I've got the butter and sugar cream together, um, kind of. My butter was not quite room temperature, so it's a little bit more clumpy than it probably should be, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, and then I'm drying the pumpkin puree, which I thought was interesting because I've used pumpkin puree in baking a lot and I don't think I've ever had anyone say that you need to dry it. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I probably should have dried it a little bit more than I did, but you know, I've got a baby in one arm and it just was a lot. So I did the best I could and it turned out fine. Um, yeah. So we're blending all that together using my wonderful hand mixer, which I love so much. And then a couple eggs. Again, you would want to do egg yolks here, not, uh, full eggs, but you know, my bad. Oh, well, turned out fine. Desi's cracking me up because he loved the, the cooking spray. He thought that was so fun because he kept pretending to pour it into the lid and like pretend to drink it. And stuff. He's just, he's so funny. You know, all these random things that keep them entertained. So anyway, now we're doing the dry ingredients and you should be doing this in a separate bowl. I'm going to be honest, I never really do my dry ingredients separately. I just, don't really ever notice that much of a difference and it dirties another bowl. I just, you know, I'm sure that'll make some of you mad. I, you know, it's my kitchen. It's just, that's how I do things. So um, that was a one and three quarter cups of flour. And then we do a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And all of that gets mixed together. And then... We make the sugar, what does she call it? The spiced sugar, which then you're going to roll the, the dough in. So it's so yummy. Uh, and the spiced sugar is just a quarter cup of sugar and half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And Desi being so helpful stirring it, and he thought maybe we needed a little extra sugar in the, in the batter. So <laughs> he helped me out with that. Um, yeah, and then you just form them into balls and roll them around in the sugar and you're good to go. So it's really easy. And um, oh, buddy, he's like, I got something on my finger. Cutie pie. Ah, uh, yes, got to drink some more of the cooking spray. Funny boy. So yeah, you just form them into little balls. I don't have a uh, cookie scooper thingy right now. Oh, yes, yeah, cucumber does. Yes, we definitely need some cucumber in there. <laughs> um, so I just used a couple spoons and did the best I could. You know, they weren't perfect little balls, but oh well. And then there you have it. The cookies are finished, right? If only it were that quick and easy to just, you know, bam, they're done. But yeah, you cook them at 350 for, let me see. Goodness, these instructions are long. How long do you cook them for? 12 to 14 minutes, and they were so good. I mean, these pumpkin cookies were incredible. We're going to be making them a million times more. Highly recommend. They were so soft, so fluffy, so delicious. Yes, they were amazing. So then, uh, while the boys were napping later in the day, I made apple crumble, 
which is one of my all-time favorite desserts. So good. So I had all these green apples that I needed to use up. You know, they're really cheap right now. They're one of those fall produce deals. So I had tons of green apples and this was just the perfect way to use them up. So I spent almost half my life peeling them. Took so long. I started out at first with a peeler and then realized that that's a terrible idea and was not working at all. So I got my little paring knife out and got to work on that. Yeah, this took quite a while. And I was trying so hard, you guys, trying so hard to get the peel in one go, you know, <laughs> like to go around the whole thing without stopping. And I couldn't do it. it. I was such a failure. I tried so hard, but I just, my peeling game is not anywhere near that strong. So next time I make an apple crumble, maybe I can do that. Uh, yeah, a new, new goal in my life. Be able to peel an apple in one go. Oh my goodness. Too ridiculous. Finally, we're almost done peeling. There we go. And I've been saving my apple scraps and my scraps from oranges as well to put on the stovetop. And sorry, my husband just showed up <laughs> and he's making me laugh. Wow, how unprofessional. Um, yeah, I've been saving my scraps from apples and oranges and then putting them on the stove with some water and cloves and cinnamon. And it just makes the house smell really, really good. And then you don't feel like you're wasting so much, you know? Um, there's probably something you can do with apple peels that is also edible. I should, I should look into that. I, I feel like my mom did something with apple peels. What do you think, hun? Is that a thing? <laughs> I think my mom used to do something. There's, maybe. yeah, there's something you can do with the apple peels where you can actually eat them. I mean, okay, obviously you could just eat them, right? You don't have to do anything <laughs> with them. But I feel like my mom did something when we were growing up to make apple peels extra scrumptious. So I need to ask her about that. Anyway, we're just chopping. You know, we spent half our life peeling and now we're spending the rest of our life chopping. So soon we will be dead, but it'll be fine because on our deathbed, we will have apple crumble to eat. It's all good. Um, yeah, and then, ooh, I should pull up the recipe for this so I can actually tell you how much is in all of this. So... She had to do two and a half pounds of Granny Smith apples. I think I did about that. I think I doubled it though, because I ended up making two. Yeah, um, which now that I'm thinking about it, did I double the pumpkin cookies too? If I did, I'll leave a note, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, two and a half pounds of Granny Smith apples. Um, I did double that. And then you want a half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I went a little bit rogue on the uh, cinnamon and does she have you use apple pie spice? No. So I ended up using some apple pie spice because I had it and I figured that would be extra delicious. <laughs> so I did apple pie spice and I did a little bit of cinnamon. So, but her, her recommendation is a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then, so this is for the filling. All of this is for the filling. And then we'll do the crumble topping in a moment. And yeah, mixing that together. So great. I think the cornstarch is supposed to absorb some of the like apple juices, right? And make it like thicker, which is always good. We want, we want it thick. And what am I doing now? Flour. Okay, so this is the topping. So it seemed like a lot of flour to me, but it worked out great. So I don't know, you know, what do I know? I'm not the chef, uh, the, the baker, I guess. So a cup of flour, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Again, I went a little rogue and did some apple pie spice. And then eight tablespoons of unsalted butter melted and you mix all that together and it forms this beautiful crumble topping let's see what else should i say about this i was getting my dishes out yes spray them don't forget to spray them that would be so sad to have all of this deliciousness just stick and then yeah i just divided the filling between the two pans 
dishes, whatever you call them. And then let's see, where's my melted butter? Oh, there it is. Okay, so then you mix that in and you've got your little crumble topping and it's all coming together. I mean, this was so much easier than I thought it would be. Um, in my head, apple crumble is like really hard, <laughs> but it really wasn't. The only part that takes a long time is just all that peeling and chopping, but the rest of it is super fast and easy. So then you just spread the, the topping on top <laughs> and bake it at 375 for 35 to 45 minutes. Oh no, I forgot to mute my audio. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so easy. The result, like it doesn't look super duper pretty. <laughs> no offense to the person who did the recipe. It's not her fault, but you know, I ended up taking a picture of it to make it a little, look a little bit more pretty. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed hanging out while I made some delicious fall treats. We greatly enjoyed them. I think the pumpkin cookies were the winner, especially my husband. He really loved the pumpkin cookies. So highly recommend both of them. They were both delicious. And it was just so fun to have a special fall day doing some fall baking. And we also did a lot of stuff outside and collected leaves, which you see in that final picture. So yes, thank you guys for watching. We will be back very soon. And yeah, have a good day. Bye.